Good evening. A Perth mother has issued a blunt warning to her daughter's killer. The hammer will fall and you will be caught. Kim Taylor's body was discovered in Bedforddale bushland three days ago and her family is asking the public for help to catch whoever dumped her there. We know. We know that. We all loved her. We still love her. And um, she's going to be our baby forever. Kim Taylor's family says she was beautiful, intelligent and had big dreams. Kim really wanted to make something of herself. She really tried really so hard, but there was a lot of things in her way. She had a lot of demons, Kim did. Sunday night, they received the devastating news that the 37-year-old's body had been found by an early morning bushwalker partially buried off a dirt track in the Jarradale State Forest. She's my first niece. Three weeks ago, I was talking with her. I can't believe that she's gone. This is... It hurts so much. It really hurts so, so much. During that conversation, Ms Taylor spoke of wanting to reconnect with her family, a reunion that will now never happen. She was a loved little girl, even though she's a grown woman. All these people love her and she's just not something that should have been left out there like that. Three days on, homicide detectives are still awaiting the post-mortem results into how and when Ms Taylor was killed. There have been no arrests. They're asking for the public's help in piecing together her last month alive. Kim was known to reside in the Hamilton Hill area, uh, but she lived an itinerant lifestyle and her movements just prior to her death at this stage are not known. Ms Taylor used to work in Indigenous services, helping people her passion. Now her family hopes the favour will be returned. The people that know what happened to Kim, they need to come forward. The hammer is going to fall anyway. They need to come forward now. Nobody deserves what she got. Nobody, I don't care who they were. This needs to be sorted. It needs to be closed. Renee Henry, Nine News.